Now you've mastered the suit and tie, but there's more to professionalism than just looks. It's those subtle manners that can really elevate your workplace game. Today I'm here to unlock the secrets of an impeccable workplace manners. Punctuality is paramount. Time doesn't wait, and neither should you. There's a saying, to be early is to be on time, to be on time is to be late, and to be late is unacceptable. But why does punctuality matter so much? When you're late, it isn't just a matter of missing a few minutes of a meeting or a conversation, it's a reflection of your commitment and respect for other people's time. Remember, this is one resource we can't get back. Those few minutes can make a monumental difference. It could mean clenching the big deal, forming a vital partnership or just building a reputation of reliability. So next time you set the alarm, add an extra one for punctuality because time, once gone, never comes back. Imagine walking into a boardroom wearing flip-flops. Sounds outrageous, right? However, in some modern workspaces, sandals might just be okay. The key? Understanding your workplace culture and what's considered appropriate. Different workplaces have different why. Financial institution might require formal wear, while a startup tech company might embrace jeans and t-shirts. But no matter where you are, where you work, the underlying principle remains the same. Be neat, presentable and respect of the office culture. Ultimately, dressing appropriate boosts your confidence, earns respect from peers and can even enhance your overall performance. Remember, fashion isn't just about self-expression in the workplace, it's a tool for effective communication. Use it wisely. Communication is a lifeblood of any organization. It's how the ideas are shared, relationships are built, and objectives are achieved. But with this essential tool comes responsibility, the responsibility to communicate efficiently and respectfully. It all starts with active listening. It's easy to fall into the trap of formulating your responses while someone else is talking. But true communication practice demands that you're genuinely hear what is being said, process it and then respond. This not only prevents misunderstandings, but also makes the other person feel valued. In this digital age, video calls have become mainstay. Always ensure that you're in quiet, well-lit space, make virtual eye contact by looking at the camera, mute when not speaking, and be aware of the body language. Remember, even though it's virtual, it's still face-to-face -face interaction. Workplace conflicts are inevitable. Diverse opinions, Work pressure and differing personalities can sometimes create tension. However, how you handle this situation can set the tone for your professional relationships and the work environment. First and foremost, it's essential to stay calm. When, when emotions run high, take a moment, breathe and collect your thoughts. Reacting impulsively can escalate a situation and often lead to regrets. Empathy is a powerful tool in conflict resolution. Try to see the situation from the other per person's perspective. That doesn't mean you have to agree, but understanding their viewpoint can pave the way for a solution that can satisfy both parties. Instead of monopolizing the conversation, allow everyone involved to voice their concerns. It fosters an atmosphere where solutions can be collectively brainstormed. After finding a solution, it's vital to move forward. Holding on to grudges or bringing up past conflicts in the future discussions can hinder productive teamwork. In a world moving at the speed of light, taking a moment to show appreciation can make all the difference in fostering a positive work environment. Every individual wants to feel valued and acknowledged for their contributions. It's not only to boost morale, but also promotes a culture of mutual respect and collaboration. A simple thank you can go a long way, whether it's helping out on a task, providing insights or just being a good listener. Expressing gratitude can uplift spirits. And remember, appreciation isn't just for tenured employees. Newcomers, interns or even someone who has done a small favor can and should be thanked. This inclusive approach ensures that everyone feels valued. Picture this, a workplace where everyone feels comfortable, relaxed and at ease. Sounds ideal, doesn't it? Achieving this largely hinges on respecting shared spaces. Let's start with the kitchen. If you use your dishes, wash them. Microwave something and the food splattered? Wipe it down. It's these small actions that ensure that the next person isn't inconvenienced. Resource areas like libraries or shared equipment zones should be treated with care. Return the items where you found them. It ensures everyone can locate and utilize resources efficiently. In open offices or shared desk areas, be conscious of your footprint. Your workspace is a reflection of your professional image. Keeping it tidy not only respects other spaces, but also portrays that you are organized and consider it. And talking about respecting spaces, be aware of the quiet zones or focus areas. Need to take a call? Step into a designated area or outside. These zones exist to allow colleagues concentration time 
without disturbances. These might seem as small steps, but trust me, they pack a punch in a professional journey. Master these and not only will you climb the ladders faster, you'll do it with class. Try these tips and let me know how they transformed your office game. Catch you in the next one.